Today we're going to look at the features of one of our free virtual manipulatives available on the Didax website. You'll find a link to these tools right on our homepage, as well as some free activities that use the manipulatives. Let's take a look at the 10 frame tool for numbers up to 100. From the virtual manipulatives homepage, I navigate to the 10 frames 1 through 100 icon. Clicking will open up the 10 frames tool in a new window. With this version of the tool, I can drag horizontal or vertical 10 frames into my workspace. I can have up to 10 10 frames to model numbers up to 100. Counters are added to the 10 frames either one at a time, five at a time, or 10 at a time. Dragging 10 counters into a 10 frame will fill the frame. Dragging five counters will fill one row or column of the frame depending on the orientation. Once counters are placed into a frame, I can drag them outside or into another frame. This feature is useful for demonstrating subtraction and regrouping. The eraser tool in my toolbox allows me to erase individual counters or individual 10 frames from the work area. The pencil tool allows me to mark anywhere in the workspace. I can cross out counters. I can draw circles or squares to group counters together. And I can even write problems in the work area. And finally, the reset button allows me to reset the work area back to where I started. So I can start again with a new set of 10 frames. Thanks for watching. And remember that you can access all our free virtual manipulatives on our website, www.didax.com.